Here's the homework for Lesson 14, Grade 1, Module 2. Write your name first. Our directions are to circle, 10, and subtract, just like we have in our example picture here, and make a number bond. In the beginning, they'll have the picture for us, but then we're going to have to draw our own pictures. And you got to have the pictures. So we've got our 10 group here. Circle 10 and subtract. We're crossing out 9. That means there's going to be 1 left, right? Because there's always 1 left when you take 9 from 10. And then we have 5 and 1 more is 6. And our number bond is a whole of 15 with parts of 9 crossed out and 6 left. Now we have to draw in circle 10. So 14 minus 9, that's our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right, that's our 10 group. And then we need 4 more because it's 14. 1, 2, 3, 4. Cross out 9. Oh, there's 1 left. This 4 and 1 more, 5. Make a number bond. Whole of 14 parts of 9 and 9 crossed out and 5 left. Number 3, 12 minus 9. Start by drawing the 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Cross out nine from this group of ten here. Right, well, we're supposed to circle the ten. I keep forgetting to do that. There. And then we have three left. Our number bond is a whole of twelve with parts of 9 and 3. 13 minus 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Circling the 10. I'm going to take 9 from that 10. I know there's just going to be one left, so I'm not even going to count how many I cross out. I just know there'll be one left. And then now we have three and one more. That's going to be four left. So our number bond is a whole of 13 with parts of nine crossed out and four not crossed out. 16 minus nine. I'm going to draw 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Circling the 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm going to cross out 9. I'm going to cross them out from the 10 because I can't cross them out from the 6 because there's not enough there. So 9, and I know there's going to be 1 left. And I know this is 6 already. 6 and 1 is 7. And our num number bond will be 16 with parts of 9 and 7. Now we're completing a number bond and writing the number sentence that helped you. So here is the example. They finished the number bond here, and then they figured out that it had to be three because it's one more, right? Because that would make ten. Nine and one would be ten. And then the 2 from the 12. I'll, I'll show you the first one in detail, but then after that, I'll just do them. So here's the 13. So the thing of the 13 is a 10, 3, right? It's a 10 plus 3. Well, if I take 9 from this, 10, right, I'm going to have 1 left. And there'll be that 3, so the 
this 10 here. If I think about it as a number, I'll make a number bond. If I can get my pen to write. That's a 9 and a 1. There, 9 and a 1. And then this 9 I'm going to cross out. So I'll just have this 1 and the 3 left, which is 4. So the number sense to help me is this 1 plus that 3 equal 4. So here's 14. This is 14 minus 9. That's what this number bond is. So this 14 is 10 and 4, right? After I take 9 away from this 10, I'm going to have 1 left. Right? So then there'll be 1 left, and I'll add it to the other Four that's still left, and I'll have five. If you count it up, you'll find out 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's five more numbers. So, and but what I did was I added this one and that four together for five. Same thing here for this 15. This 15 is really, this 15 is really a 10 and a 5. And I'm going to subtract 9 from that 10. I'll have 1 left, so it's really 5 plus 1, which equals 6. That's the other part. And here's a 16, right? 16 is a 10 and a 6, and I'm if I know one part, I subtract to find the other. So I'm going to subtract 9. 10 minus 9. There's going to be one left there. So I add the 1 and the 6 together. This should be a 7. And that's what you need to have for that. Make the number bond that would come next. <coughs> And write a number sentence that matches. So the number one that would come next. So we went, we had 13, 14, 15, and 16 are our holes. So this one should have a hole of 17 and a part of 9. Because these all had parts of a part of 9. There's a 9, there's a 9, there's a 9. And you can see how the other part goes from 4, 5, 6, 7. You can probably guess this is going to be eight, but this is how this is how you can do it. Seventeen is a ten and a seven. If you're going to subtract nine from it, you're going to have one left out of that ten after you cross out nine. And you'll have this seven plus you have this seven plus that one. That's seven plus one. The other part's going to be eight. And so your number sentence, there you go.